Hello, future doctors. Welcome to the Penism. Let me first wish all of you Merry Christmas and may the Almighty bless you with great knowledge and guide you in your journey to become a doctor. Today, we are going to discuss about a condition that is hemophilia. Now, hemophilia is specifically a genetic disorder in which because of the recessive gene, it leads to deficiency of certain clotting factors. And as we are aware, the clotting factors are essential for the purpose of coagulation mechanism. And due to the deficiency of these clotting factors, even a minor cut or injury will constantly bleed and it does not heal. Hence, we call hemophilia as bleeder's disease as well. Hemophilia has been classified into different types depending on the type of clotting factor which has been found to be deficient in the patient. The one type of hemophilia is known as hemophilia A. In hemophilia A, there is deficiency of clotting factor 8. The clotting factor 8 is known as AHF that is anti-hemophilic factor. Now, due to the deficiency of this, the coagulation cascade or the coagulation pathway gets inhibited due to which it does not lead to healing process to be performed properly. Apart from this, the other type of hemophilia is the hemophilia B, wherein there is deficiency of clotting factor 9, which is also known as plasma thromboplastin component or it is also known as Christmas factor. And hence, hemophilia B is also known as Christmas disease. Now, it is nowhere related to the festival of Christmas. In fact, hemophilia B, in which there is deficiency of clotting factor 9, was first discovered in a patient named Stephen's Christmas. And due to this, the disease was named after the patient Stephen Christmas and it is called as Christmas disease. Now, there is also another type of hemophilia which is hemophilia C, wherein there is deficiency of clotting factor number 11. The clotting factor number 11 is known as PTA, that is plasma thromboplastin antecedent. Now, the point to be understood is the hemophilia A and hemophilia B both are X-linked disorders and in this X-linked there is presence of a recessive gene which causes the condition. So whenever the recessive condition is present on this X chromosome, it leads to hemophilia A or hemophilia B depending on the type of gene which is affected. Whereas hemophilia C, it's an autosomal disorder. And in this autosomal disorder, the gene is present on an autosome that is chromosome number 4. So, remember that hemophilia A and B are X-linked conditions, whereas hemophilia C is an autosomal condition. Now, hemophilia was also discovered in the royal family of Queen Victoria. And hemophilia, since it is X-linked, definitely it shows criss-cross inheritance pattern. In fact, let me extend the topic to another part as well. Now, hemophilia's treatment will be very simple. Depending on the deficiency of clotting factor, the patient should be given that particular clotting factor. Hence, frequent blood transfusions or plasma transfusions with that particular plasma protein or clotting factor is required. So, treatment will be blood transfusion. Definitely, there is no permanent cure that is available. But blood transfusions are one of the treatment options that are available. Now, going to one more step ahead, the scientists have developed certain transgenic animals as well. These transgenic animals have a gene which codes for the clotting factor 8 as well as clotting factor 9. Specifically, the gene for clotting factor 9 has been transferred into an animal and transgenic animals were developed. The first transgenic animal that were developed having the clotting factor 9 were Polly and Molly which are the two types of sheep. These sheep variety were definitely cloned 
as well as the concept of recombinant DNA technology that is genetic transfer was also performed in these two sheep. Apart from that, the dolly the sheep that was cloned, it was only the procedure of cloning. Wherein in poly and moly, apart from the cloning procedure, even recombinant DNA technology has been utilized and the gene for clotting factor 9 has been transferred into these animals. And both the varieties produced this protein rich milk. The milk contains this protein that is clotting factor number 9. Thus, it is a cheaper mode of production of this clotting factor 9. Apart from this, since when we perform blood transfusion, there are also high risks of disease to be transferred from the patient to the recipient. Hence, it is extremely useful method wherein this transgenic concept can be used. So that's all from this side. Thank you.